hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the shapes of the orbitals and the nodal planes coming to the orbital it is the region around the nucleus where the probability of finding an electron is maximum so in the case of s orbital the probability of finding an electron is maximum in all directions so s orbital is having spherical shape so in the case of s orbital students here the probability of finding an electron is maximum in all directions with the result what is the shape of the s orbital students s orbital is having spherical shape and coming to the p orbital here p orbital is having three degenerate orbitals so p orbital is having three degenerate orbitals namely px py and pz that means p orbital is three fold degenerate so coming to the shape of the p orbital p orbital is having dumbbell shape so what is the shape of the p orbital students it is having dumbbell shape so let us consider the shape of the px py and pz orbitals so coming to the px orbital it is having the probability of finding an electron maximum along the x axis so what is the shape of the p orbital students it is having dumbbell shape so in the case of px orbital the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the x axis and coming to the py orbital here the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the y axis and coming to the pz orbital in the case of pz orbital the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the z axis is it clear students so py means the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the y axis pz means the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the z axis so let us discuss about the shape of the d orbitals so d orbital is having five degenerate orbitals so d orbital is having how many degenerate orbitals five namely dxy dyz dzx dx square minus y square and dz square so what is the shape of the d orbital students it is having double dumbbell shape so d orbital is having five fold degenerate orbitals let us see the structures of five d orbitals so namely it is having dxy dyz dzx dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals so for the convenience let us consider planar structures in the case of d orbitals so coming to the dxy orbital here the probability of finding an electron is maximum in between x and y axis so in the case of dxy orbital here the probability of finding an electron is maximum between x and y axis and coming to the yz orbital here the probability of finding an electron is maximum in between the y and z axis and coming to the dzx axis here the probability of finding an electron is maximum between 
x-axis and z-axis. Is it clear students? For the convenience, here we can classify the 5 degenerate d orbitals into two sets. The first set consists of three orbitals namely dxy, dyz, dzx. In these three cases, the probability of finding an electron is maximum in between the axes. And coming to the dx square minus y square and dz square, here let us consider the structures. So, in the case of dx square minus y square, the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the x-axis and also along the y-axis. And coming to the dz square orbital, the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the z-axis and also at the center in the spherical shape. So, these are the shapes of the 5 degenerate d orbitals. Is it clear students? Next, we will discuss about the nodal planes. Nodal plane means the region around the nucleus where the probability of finding an electron is 0. So, nodal plane means where the probability of finding an electron is 0. Let us consider the number of nodal planes in the case of s orbital, p orbital and also d orbital. So, let us see the shape of the s orbital. So, in the case of s orbital, it is having the spherical shape. So, in all directions, we will find the probability of finding an electron. So, in the case of s orbital, the number of nodal planes is equal to 0. And coming to the p orbital, in the case of p orbital, let us consider one of the p orbital. For our convenience, let us consider px orbital. So, in the case of px orbital, the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the px orbital that means here we can find a plane where the probability of finding an electron is 0. So this is called as nodal plane. So in the case of px orbital we can find one nodal plane. So, in the case of P orbital, the number of nodal planes is equal to 1. And coming to the D orbital, let us consider one of the D orbital that is DXY. So, it is the X axis and it is the Y axis. In the case of DXY orbital, let us see how many nodal planes will be present. So, here what is the shape of the dxy orbital students? It is having double dumbbell shape and remember that here the probability of finding an electron is maximum in between the axis. So, along xy plane there is a probability of finding an electron is maximum. That means along yz plane and also along the zx plane the probability of finding an electron is 0. So, along xy direction we will find the probability of an electron but along yz plane and zx plane here the probability of finding an electron is 0. So, in the case of d orbitals how many nodal planes are present? Two nodal planes are present. So, simply the number of nodal planes in the case of any orbital is equal to its L value. So, in the case of S orbital, the L value is 0. That means the number of nodal planes is equal to 0. In the case of P orbital, it is 1. And in the case of D orbital, it is 2. Here, we have to consider a special case. That is, let us consider the shape of the 
d z square orbital so in the case of d z square orbital here the probability of finding an electron is maximum along the z axis and coming to the number of nodal planes remember d orbital is having two nodal planes but in the case of z orbital here we can find two cones of nodal planes which are parallel to each other in the case of the remaining four d orbitals the number of nodal planes are perpendicular to each other so in the case of d orbital four d orbitals are having perpendicular nodal planes and only d z square orbital is having parallel nodal planes is it clear students next we will discuss about the nodes node means where the probability of finding an electron is zero so here we can consider two types of nodes one being spherical node and the second one is angular node angular node is nothing but nodal planes so the number of nodal planes is equal to its l value but coming to the spherical nodes spherical nodes means it is the very small region or you can call it as unit volume around the nucleus where the probability of finding an electron is zero so in the case of any orbital we can find the spherical nodes by using the formula n minus l minus 1 and coming to the angular nodes it is equal to l it is the plane where the probability of finding an electron is zero and coming to the total number of nodes it is the sum of spherical and angular nodes that means n minus l minus 1 plus l so simply that is equal to n minus 1 is it clear students let us see one example so try to find the number of spherical angular and total nodes in the case of 3p orbital you just pause the video and try to find the different types of nodes so let us see in the case of spherical nodes what is the formula students that is equal to n minus l minus 1 and in this case it is 3p orbital so n is equal to 3 and p is equal to that means l value is equal to 1 so what is the l value for the p orbital students it is 1 you just substitute so 3 minus 1 minus 1 so the number of spherical nodes is equal to 1 and coming to the number of angular nodes that is equal to its l value so 1 and hence total number of nodes is equal to it is n minus 1 so it is equal to 2 is it clear students will you try one more example students try to find the number of spherical angular and total nodes in the case of 3d orbital so in the case of 3d orbital n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 2 so spherical nodes is equal to n minus l minus 1 that is equal to 0 and coming to the angular nodes it is equal to its l value that means 2 and coming to the total nodes that is equal to n minus 1 and here it is 2 students is it clear about the shapes of the orbitals nodal planes and the number of nodes either they may be spherical or angular nodes so coming to the multiple choice questions orbital having m equal to minus 3 sorry m equal to minus 2 should be present in the following subshell so if m is equal to minus 2 then we have to find out it is suitable for which orbital so in the case of s orbital l is equal to 0 and in the case of p orbital l is equal to 1 and in the case of d orbital l is equal to 2 
so the m values depends upon the l value so here l is equal to 2 and hence what are the m values m is equal to minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 and hence if m is equal to 2 here the subshell is d subshell clear students which of the following pairs of d orbitals will have electron density along the axis so as we discussed earlier d orbitals can be classified into two sets dxy dyz dzx and dx square minus y square and dz square so dx square minus y square and dz square will have electron density along the axis so option b is the right answer the size of 2s orbital as compared to 1s orbital is let us see the shape of the 1s and 2s orbitals so 1s is having spherical shape and 2s is also having spherical shape but it is somewhat larger than 1s orbital so it is the shape of 1s orbital and it is the shape of 2s orbital so what is the size of the 2s orbital when compared to 1s orbital students definitely it is large so the size of the 2s orbital is large when compared with the 1s orbital d orbital is dash degenerate so d orbital is having five degenerate orbitals so it will be called as five fold degenerate the maximum number of electrons accommodated in 4f orbitals is so f orbital is having seven degenerate orbitals so it can accommodate 14 electrons the region where the probability of finding an electron is maximum and that is called as the orbital the region where the probability of finding an electron is zero then it will be called as the nodal plane the orbital without nodal plane is so in the case of any orbital the nodal planes is equal to its l value in the case of s orbital l value is equal to 0 so option a is the right answer so 1s orbital is not having any nodal planes the number of nodal planes and nodes of 3p orbital so in the case of 3p orbital so it is p orbital so the number of nodal planes is equal to its l value so number of nodal planes is equal to 1 and coming to the number of nodes it is equal to n minus 1 so here in this case the number of nodes equal to 2 so option c is the right answer the maximum number of electrons that a d orbital can accommodate students remember that a d orbital that means d orbital is having five degenerate orbitals and you are supposed to answer how many electrons can be accommodated in one of the d orbitals undoubtedly only two electrons can be accommodated in a d orbital the number of radial nodes of a 4p orbital is so radial nodes means spherical nodes so how to find the spherical nodes by using the formula n minus l minus 1 that is equal to 4 minus 1 minus 1 so the number of radial nodes is equal to 2 is it clear students finally i wish to conclude this video by giving three test questions so the size of s orbital increases when the value of the principal quantum number so you are supposed to identify so how the principal quantum number varies if the size of the s orbital increases coming to the second question so you are supposed to find out the number of nodal planes of d orbital and moving to the third question how many d orbitals are having perpendicular nodal planes 
If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.